Okay, in this video I want to just show some of the uh, camera accessories and outfits that I have that I use. And the one that I use the most is my cell phone because I vlog every day. And this is the setup I have. A Grillo pod here, tripod. Um, I like it because the when you bend it, it don't have that looseness feel to it. Um, I mean, when you bend it, you really have to put a little force behind it, and it holds where you put it. I mean, if I bend it, I mean, it holds holds very well. I mean, it has very durability of if I want it to hold, it will hold. Wrap it around something very well. Um has the knob here so I can actually adjust the head any direction I want as I sit it here and then I have this knob here that I can loosen up and this will swivel around uh, I have my propel mic attached to the top right there and I just got it wrapped around and when I need it I just take it and plug it in and this propel mic works real well and I can have it like two feet away and it works quite well very sensitive um, has a great tone to it for recording uh, got a little windbreaker on it I do not use the app that comes in the phone I just didn't like it the quality of the video was not to what my uh, my requirements that I wanted on my video it just was not there now uh, let's see my next one that I use the most is this one the GoPro session I do believe it's the GoPro session 4 and this is the latest tripod that I got, which is adjustable as well. And I like these. One thing that these two have in common it has these rings, and it gives you a nice grip. It, it's not like grabbing plastic and it slips through your hand or whatever. It actually, you can grip that, and it actually holds to your hand. And the only thing I use this one for is the GoPro. It is removable. Uh, I can put another camera just unscrew this one but I, I'm going to dedicate this tripod for the uh, GoPro only um, this is the one I use to record my heating and air jobs I record in 1080p at 60 frames per second it has phenomenal um, quality of video and audio. When I ordered this tripod, it came with a remote as well for Android or Apple phone. Now, the other equipment that I have I have plenty of, if I can get that here, plenty of these for my GoPro. Just in case I want to mount it and one cracks or whatever, I got many of them. Uh, let's see what else we got here. I got plenty of, which do not have too much of uh, chargers for all my equipment some has to port here other ones have them on the side which that one has it there too and this one has it on the end not have too many chargers I 
have my uh, let's see flash drives which are I think they're like four gigs yeah four gigs each then I have a short USB uh, cord to charge with in case I need to charge uh, my I think this one fits actually the GoPro if I want to take the GoPro out and I'm working on the computer doing some editing I can actually plug that in and transfer the files from GoPro to the computer while it's charging as well so that comes in handy then I have my Samsung tablet I have a long 10 foot propel mic then I have all my charging cords for my cameras I have the GoPro Hero the first one which I don't use that one much anymore uh, and the main reason is because I dropped it about three feet and sometimes it would just start freezing up when I'm actually filming and I don't know when it's going to do it so it's not reliable uh, I have not now that's only in video now taking pictures it probably still worked pretty well because it's going to take a picture and that's it it's going to take it or not and I'm looking at it and listening to it um, that's not something like the video I just have to sit there and keep watching it and watching it and watching it taking a picture push it, it goes, dee, 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 whatever and I know it's taking a picture um, now time-lapse taking pictures might be another thing that I can use that for it comes with a backing with an opening on it for audio or I can put the complete water tight back on it if I need to submerge it or if it's raining or whatever if I want to take a uh, time-lapse of sunrise or anything like that and it's raining I can use that then I have the battery pack which also you see is the USB there and it has the end here where I can charge the pack and also it's a flashlight so that comes in handy and it shows how much the battery is charged by the LED lights on top so that will let me know when the battery pack is charged then I have a selfie stick remote that came with another selfie stick that I have or had uh, let's see then I have the telescope to put on to zoom in on things a little closer I have my Bluetooth uh, earpiece and sometimes I use this when I use the app Bamboozer because they have it where you can use Bluetooth for the audio as you are broadcasting so that comes in handy so if I want to put a selfie stick way high whatever and still get the audio close I can use this then I have me a power block po uh, pocket inverter that I use and just that plugs right is a little cord to plug in it and goes in the cigarette lighter and then it gives me the 115 volts and also a uh, USB um, power as well then I have my PayPal uh, credit card reader if I ever need one um, I use the, the machine they 
came out with that reads to chip Apple Pay, Android Pay, and it swipes the card, or you can plug the chip of the credit card in. But if for some reason that quits or malfunction, whatever, I have this as a backup. Then I have Propel microphone extensions, which these are about four, four and a half feet each. So if I want to set up my cell phone on a tripod and have an interview with somebody or make a video and not be so close to the camera and have me standing um, somewhere and so you can really see the background behind me, uh, maybe the city or building or wall, whatever, so you get more of that instead of just seeing me uh, on a close up on the camera. I have these and I have about one, two, three, four, five of these. So I can get good distance away from my cell phone to record. And I have another propel mic in case the one that I got on my phone now quits. Then um, I carry a glass cleaner cloth. Oh, what else? And a little good old handy dandy uh, flashlight in case I need it for anything. And last but not least, my good old LG 360 camera. And all the links to these items should be in the description below. And if it's not, leave a comment and I'll get that link and I'll put it in there. And I'll be sure to put it as my default so it will be in every video after that one. And something else I always carry as well, just in case I need it. I carry some paperwork, which so far I hadn't had to use it. Um, let's see, I carry me a nice little tablet, notepad, if I need one. Uh, let's see what else I got here. Uh, that's not related, at least not for this. That's not uh, related to this. Uh, let's see. Legal documents are showing what the um, the rights that I have to record in video in the public, what the law considers as public space, and the law that says I have the right to record in them locations as well. Recording the police officers or public of, uh, officials, the law on that one. So if I get stopped and say, no, you can't record this, you can't record that, well, I said, well, here's the law. Here's the um, the North Carolina uh, wiretapping law, uh, right down to a North Carolina law on recording court hearings and public meetings in case I want something that's going on in my town or somebody else's town or whatever, as long as it's in that state. It tells the um, uh, the statue. Let's see where is it at. Which one was it? It tells me that. It's the, uh, let's see. It's the Interpretation and Declosure 
of wire or oral or electrical or electronically communication prohibited prohibited it tells me what they consider as legal wiretapping what I can and cannot record in North Carolina is one party consent so if somebody calls me on my phone I can record the conversation without their consent because it's a one party I mean it's just just little laws that you might need if you get in them situations um, what they consider as a public place and people say you, you know you can't record me or whatever and um, it tells you what they considered as a hidden camera it's a felon felony you know taking photograph or recording for purpose of uh, you know gratification sexual nature and stuff like that and then it, it just breaks it down to exactly uh, definitions by law what what each one means what they considered as public space say so, yeah I could record it in public space yes you can and the law says this is what the law says public place is so that would tell you that you have the right or do not have the right to record in that place does the law say that's considered as a public place um, first amendment uh, have I have that on there your first um, first circuit court and tells you a uh, court case that made that law come to be about that made that come a law where two people whatever went to court and the judge ruled that yes you can record in a public place and the definition of a public place is whatever as the law says it is so not only it says you can it shows where that controversy has gone to court and proven that you can so nice little papers to have I never had to use it I've had a, a few people say you can't you don't have permission to record me and I just say well you're in public space and the law says you have no expectation of privacy in this place you're at so I have the right to record if you don't want to be recorded leave And I've had people also go to the extent where they said, well, I'm going to get the police. Well, I said, that's fine. I'll be right here. And the officer came about. And also get your uh, press pass as well. So that helps a lot. And the officer showed up and says what's the problem I said well I don't have a problem she's the one that has the complaint you can talk to her and see what she has to complain about and she told him what she was saying to me and the officer says ma'am I'm sorry but he has the right to record this is considered by law a public place so that was short and sweet uh, conversation basically in that one now the latest thing that I got for my collection of getting good content done is this right here the Sunpack wired selfie wand kit this is a uh, let's see load capacity is 1.1 pounds the weight is 5.6 ounces maximum length that it will stick out is 43.3 inches the minimum is nine and a quarter the leg extensions ooh, seven feet um, leg material is stainless steel 
and it also has the remote that you take there's a little wire that's coming out roughly somewhere up in here and you plug it into the phone and you see where he has his thumb right you see thumb right here that is a button that you can push and it will take a picture so it's not just a selfie stick that you know you have to put a timer on that you have a control actually built into it and the price they had on it at Walmart I thought it was wrong but after I got it scanned and found out that it was the proper and correct price I brought two because getting these sticks for four dollars and eighty eight cents a piece yeah I'm gonna buy two I would brought three or four if they had them but this is the last two they had for four dollars and eighty eight cents to get a selfie stick that has a remote built into it yeah and only thing I needed what I was looking for when I got there boy that camera woo that was a fluke in the autofocus only thing I was looking for when I got to Walmart was this piece right here that screws on right here that holds the phone just the part that screws on right there that opens up in the phone that's all I was looking for Walmart does not have them not in their stores you probably can order it off their website but I like to grab pay take home I don't want to you know order offline have to wait for it to show up and all that but sometimes you have to do because what you're looking for what you need might be kind of unique not uh, very common it might be rare and you have to wait but that is my camera gear that I use and I do have a laptop which I have two actually I have an old laptop here which is a uh, what was this anyway if you're old enough you would remember that name right there e machines the good old e machines and that's the e machine laptop and it's a 10 inch the only thing that's wrong with it or only thing I've had wrong with this was the hard drive finally just it, it when you turn it on it would boot up but you hear it tink 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 and it takes forever for it to actually finally boot up so I changed it to a SSD and I haven't had any problems of it booting up now the battery however it charges about halfway if you unplug it within five minutes that 50% goes down about five and it don't take long for it to uh, go down to zero but I uh, here come, all right angel my cat here um, but it's good to have it small um, I got a bag that it fits in nicely that I can put whatever camera I need besides my um, cell phone um, I put in some chargers to charge my cell phone take my GoPro I can take it with me stick the 360 in there as well and the laptop and the charger for it and all the charging cords for each one of them which would be the transfer um, cord as well so I can just this has a good size hard drive on it basically that's all I really wanted it for is to take it with me so if I get to a real big event 
and if I'm recording in 4K on the GoPro at 10, 1080p at 60 frames per second or whatever, let's see, 1080, uh, no, that's HD. Um, the 360 camera, it records in 360 at 2K. But them files will get real big. Even the 1080p at 60 frames per second, they get real big real fast. And I got 32 gigs of memory. I've never ran out of it. I recorded hours. Matter of fact, I ran out of uh, battery with a full charge on the GoPro before the, the chip, uh, the memory card, even filled up. So I would have to be at a very big event to max that thing out and I would have to recharge it before it even max out because I had it set up full charge push to record and it died and when I looked at the SD card it still had space to record at least another hour so the battery will not last as long as the SD card at the highest resolution that it has and I do believe that uh, GoPro actually will record in 1440, which I think is two, uh, 2K. But I like 1080p at 60 frames because if you go 1440, I think it drops it back down to 30 frames per second. I like staying at 60 because when I slow a video up for any reason, if I need to, it don't grain up. It keeps it nice and smooth. But that is my equipment that I have that I take with me. Now I do have my studio here, which the wireless uh, headsets here, where I, which I do my talk over, or I can use these here is nothing but a radio. Listen to my uh, FM that comes through here or Bluetooth. I can listen um, from my cell phone. I uh, got me a nice long charging cord that I can charge these, but at the same time, I can still be using them while they charge. Then I have my studio microphone with a uh, pop filter where I can do some live casting or talkovers, whatever I need to do. And I have other microphones as well plugged into my mixer, which green on green is not working too well. I would <laughs> that's a green uh, windbreaker that's actually on that microphone, and it's not showing up since I'm using a green screen. Nice. Um, but yeah, if I have a guest here or whatever, I can use the two microphones. Um, But that's about all I really have um, mobile equipment that I use. Just depends on um, what I'm recording and what quality I want. I try to record as high as quality as I can. So when I drop it back down to uh, like 24 frames per second, yeah, it, it's you know real good quality and also. It does not take as long to upload to YouTube, but it still has the 720 or 1080p quality in the video. Just the frames per second is uh, dropped. So uh, like I said, all the equipment that I showed you, um, my mobile equipment minus this. I have not put a link for this, but when I put this video up, I'll see if I can find a link for this on Amazon and put that one down there as well. Because for $4.88, I don't know what Amazon has it for, if they have it at all, but I will look for it. I will actually scan the barcode because I do have a barcode scanner that I can actually scan and it will search the internet or whatever I got it in at the time. And see if Amazon has these and see what the price is. But Walmart, and it was not even on sale. I thought it was on sale because it's 488 
But they said, no, that's the regular price. I said, good. So I went back over there and got both of them. So uh, that's all I got right now. Uh, it's, it was raining today and really didn't do much. I went to the post office today and they were closed because it's Monday the 2nd. They are observing New Year's. So I got to go back tomorrow because they say they I have a package or something that they're holding for me. So we'll find out what that is tomorrow. And I'll be sure tomorrow's vlog has that in it and see what it will be. So uh, until the next video, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up down there. And if you hadn't already, hit that subscribe button and be sure to go in there with that little bell they show you and check that box and be sure you get the notification whenever I upload all my videos from here out. And don't forget to share this video and my other videos on this channel with your friends. And in, if you got any questions, leave them in the comment or get up with me with a um, personal message through the about page that will reveal my email and you can send me a personal email right straight through there and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So like always, do something today that will take you up to that next level. Until next time, start crushing it and move up to that next level.